hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to unbox and review the jet plane and pilot play set from kid connection and i found this at walmart and it was regular 24 dollars, and then it was 12.50 so i got it when it was 12.50 and so these are just some annoying packaging <laughs> i was showing you and now i'm showing you that the plane flaps or the wings they go up so it's easy to store the buttons didn't work so i might need to add batteries and i'll do that i'll show you that in the video when i make over the the plane so here's how it opens it's very easy and it has the chairs and they move to allow for easy access so there's something on the back of the pilot's chair and then this is just the cockpit and I'm just kind of examining what all I need to paint. So I'll need to paint the purple, the pink, and the green parts. It has wheels, so that's nice. And now let's take a look at the accessories. This one, the heart, the pink heart, you're going to recognize from the RV. It's the same stuff. And if you remember, everything is hollowed out on the back. But you're going to get like a little cup, some milk the VIP pass or whatever, earphones, brush, a little heart purse, like lotion or something, sunglasses, and the on the purple star, you're going to get this little cup with the handle, and it looks pretty neat, but everything's purple, so I might not use it, and you get this little like bag thing, and then you get a brush, which I thought was pretty cool, and you get like, I think a toothbrush? and this flat iron which i thought was really really cool and some perfume a little spray and a plate with some forks so on the gray flower you get a forks and the plate a hair dryer some more spray another brush which i might use that one because it's already gray another toothbrush another plate another little cup with the handle and you get this um what is that a coffee thing which i thought was also pretty cool and you get a curling iron so yeah this is what's hollowed out on the back of that one next we have the flight attendants cart um i'm probably not going to use it honestly she can't even put it on the plane so I don't know. This is the luggage. Not much can fit in there, but it does open and it has this cool little thing where the handle slides in and out. But I don't even think the dog can hold it because, well, she can hold it by the handle, but if the handle's in there, then I don't think she can hold it. So that's pretty neat. The wheels don't work if you're wondering. And again, it doesn't look like she can fit much in there. So this set has the trays that go into the bar cart somehow. And they're like the food trays that the flight attendant passes around. And I'm not real sure how it goes or why they saw the need to get like two things, like the tray and then this. But the taco and the little steak, like really, really small, smallest taco ever. It's like a slider taco. And so I'm just like trying to put it in there. But again, I'm not really sure about these pieces. <laughs> if you don't have anything in your collection, they're fine. But yeah, I think I can pass on these. I do like this purse. So I'm wondering how I would go about like repainting it because I love the silhouette and the simple imprint on it. And I could easily go over that with some paint and have a really, really neat type of purse. So these are the other accessory packs or the last accessory pack actually comes with a diary, another purse that's shaped like lips, a novel that really doesn't look like a novel or book at all, but you know, still cute. Um, a tablet. <laughs> Some more purses, a heart purse, the red purse with the grid on it, the phone and the camera. 
So I was really interested in the camera because I like how it is and I can repaint that. It has some details on the back. It's not hollowed out. So that's good. And I did like these handbags, at least the middle one with the uh, grid pattern. I like the silhouette of it. And so I'm thinking to kind of repaint it, but I have a lot of purses. I don't need to, but these are the items that I'm showing you now. These are the items that I am interested in keeping. Even if I don't keep it, I, I feel like these are the best items. And I'm just showing you the flat iron on this one. So let's get started with the pilot. She's actually a pretty cute doll. Like this is the highest quality cheapness, if, if that makes any sense. It's like budget, but the highest quality budget. So um, yeah, she's pretty cute. She has this copyright stuff on her neck <laughs> her outfit is actually kind of thick it feels like quality the pants are a little short but that is literally the only thing i have black boots that i believe are higher than these that would cover that but yeah so excuse me while i just play with her a second she's really cute i might do a repaint i think i'm gonna make over this doll with the plane so here's the outfit. I'm going to give you some close-ups. The threads that are loose, I don't think they're loose. I think it's like extra thread when they cut the thread at the end. They just didn't cut it next to the fabric. Um, Because everything is well sewn. The details are nice. As you can see, the collar is not just a piece of fabric. It's like a double sewn thing. This is the tie. It's pretty thick. And the pants are the same material as the tie, and it's like, um, it's actual fabric. So the belt is nice. I know it's like just a ribbon, but it's like the nicest ribbon, you know what I mean? The Velcro is not lazily stitched on or haphazardly stitched on. It's like well-stitched. This is the inside stitching of the shirt. So if you're thinking you're going to get like Dollar Tree quality with this set, it's higher than that and it's probably a little bit higher than Mattel quality on the fashion packs to be honest and it has darts for a better fit around the bust area so this is the outfit on a made to move doll and as you can see it fits fits really well in fact and I put the glasses with it it's so cute she's so cute this is the Vanessa doll from the Little Mermaid the hat, you know, it's a Barbie, so hats don't really work for Barbie. But, you know, I think the outfit is cuter without the hat, actually. I might keep the hat for, like, a police officer type of scene if I have that in my storylines. But, yeah, it's very cute. So, you can fit two dolls in here in the back. So, you push the pilot seat all the way up, and then... For the dolls, you put their feet on either side of the pilot seat. That's how I got it to fit. And you just close that up. And as you can see, some of her hair got caught in the plane door. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> I am going to show you what a kin looks like. Beware, though. I didn't really feel like dressing the dolls. So I store my dolls unclothed. And these dolls, I was making outfits and shooting, so they already had clothes on. But yeah, the Ken did not. So just pretend you don't see that. So as you saw from the other clip, it's a little dark. Oop, these are the wrong light colors. <laughs> it's a little dark when you close the plane up. And so I'm thinking of putting this light in there, like mounting it some type of way in there. And that way, when I close the, the plane up, it's still a lot of light. Do you see that? So that's going to come in the makeover, makeover video. Sorry, I'm mumbling this morning. So I can't wait to make over this plane, basically. So here's some footage outside. It's really cute. And y'all just enjoy this footage because that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this plane is at Walmart. It was $12.50. So if you found this video helpful or you like this plane, just like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at adult doll collector.
and y'all have fun crafting, okay? Until I see y'all again. Bye!